you're going to need three packs of unflavored gelatin, half cup of chilled water, place the gelatin in the water into the mixing bowl and let it sit to bloom. You're going to need a candy thermometer. Mix all in pot on medium high. Once it reaches 240, it should bubble. Turn off and let it cool down. Check the gelatin. It looks good. It has bloomed. Start mixing on low. Start adding liquid mixture slowly. Pour towards the side of the ball slowly. It will splash, so step back. Once mixture is all in, speed up on high. Mix for eight minutes. Start spraying your pan very well. Make sure you get the sides and corners. Powdered sugar and cornstarch. Start sifting all around your dish evenly. It should look like this. The first eight minutes has passed. Now you can add in your vanilla extract and ube. Mix on low and then once all the flavors are mixed in, turn your speed up on high for the remaining eight minutes. You're ready to pour your mixture into your pan. Spread evenly. Tap your pan on the countertop to release any air bubbles. Get your cornstarch and powdered sugar ready. Sift powder on top evenly and then cover with plastic wrap. Let it sit at room temperature four to five hours, preferred 24 hours. Use the knife to release the sides. Get a baking sheet to place on top of the pan. Flip your pan and baking sheet together. It should slide off fairly easy. Now you're ready to cut into desired shapes. If needed, dust sides with more powder. Thank you for watching.